Hi there, Coach Sage Kanday of sagerunning.com here with another training talk. Today we're going to talk about one cue or running form tip. Uh, we've done a lot of running form videos. You can check out uh, my girlfriend's and coach Sandy Nightpaver's channel, Running Wild to Believe. At the end of this video, we'll link to our best all-around running form video. But this is a cue tip that's really important uh, that I've been struggling with with my running form to improve efficiency, but also to reduce the risk of injury. So distance running, it's all about efficiency and movement. At the same time, you don't want to get an overuse injury, right? It's really demanding on your skeletal muscular system, your bones, muscles, tendons. Uh, they get a lot of pounding, especially on pavement, hard surfaces. So if you're running with bad form, and this is a real common thing we call sitting in the saddle, you're generally heel striking, right? That heel's coming in first uh, into the ground. You're down too low. You're not getting a lot of power from your big muscles, like your butt muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads. You're not running tall. And so a cue to think about when you're running, and it's better to just think about one thing at a time as you go along on your run, and also to, to do more speed training, strides. Uh, I've done a whole video on that as well. Uh, because when you're running fast, you have to run with good form. But the cue that I think about, especially lately, is to try to lift my heel up. So it's this action when your foot's coming off the ground, you're pushing back, you're kind of sliding back, uh, you, you're lifting that heel. You're lifting that heel up and uh, if you were sprinting, or you're going really fast, you'd actually almost be kicking your butt, right? Uh, sprinting a 100 meter dash, you've got a really high knee drive, you've got a really strong back kick, and so you're almost kicking your butt. And there's even a running form drill that we talk about in a lot of our running form videos, where you do the butt kick, right? And you actually try to hit your butt with your heel. Uh, obviously in distance running though, you're going at much slower paces, so you're not gonna be doing a, a real high knee not going to get the knee totally uh, perpendicular or parallel to the ground uh, unless you were sprinting, but that is a good running form drill to do. Uh, and likewise, you're not going to be kicking your butt with your heel unless you're kicking at the end of a 5K or 10K race or 1500 or something really, really fast. But the whole idea is to still lift that heel up and to think of that back kick because that back kick is what just propels you forward, right? The pushing off the ground, you're not slamming down into the ground. You don't want to be pushing down into the ground and propelling yourself upward, you want to be sliding back. So the whole idea is sliding back, and the whole cue is to think of that heel lifting up back into your butt. All right, so the whole idea is that back kick. And, uh, you know, I'll go into some running form, some bad examples where you have a really passive uh, back kick, and you're not kicking up enough, you're not lifting up enough with that heel, and you're more kind of just in front of your body uh, and sitting in the saddle and, and focusing on... on heel striking too much, that's the wrong way to do it. The action happens behind your center of mass, so it's in that back kick and that heel lift. And it's almost like if you were, I don't know if some of you dance at the club like I like to, but it's almost like if you were doing a running man, right? You do a lift and you're sliding back, and that foot on the ground is sliding back, right? So it's like, slide back, slide back. And so like the moonwalking action, I guess, so to speak. So you, you know, you're sliding back like this. It's the running man shuffle, I don't know what they call it. I'm a little sloppy with that, haven't been in the clubs for a while. That's kind of the idea. Here I'll show you some examples of bad running form with a passive heel lift, a passive back kick, and kind of an overstride, too much action in the front, too slow. Let me stop that. And then I'll show you the correct way, proper heel lift, getting that back kick in. Let's get into it. All right, so this is a bad example. Passive, this is over-exaggerated, bad running form, not enough of a back kick. Not enough heel lift in the back. Too much forward action sitting in the saddle. See, I'm not kicking my heel back. I'm also down too low, running tall, heel striking, foot in, feet in front of the body, right? Real passive. All right, so now I'm going to give you an example with uh, proper running form, more of a back kick, running upright. It's harder to do, of course, when you're running slower. You get good running form and a strong back kick action when you're sprinting or doing strides or speed work and running faster. But the idea is that you integrate it into your easy day pace, your slower running form, ultra running form, uh, so that you're more efficient and you're not getting that impact force and that loading. You're getting more power with each stride. So a little over-exaggerated with the butt kick. It's the idea that you're lifting back. You're lifting back and you're pushing back with your feet when they hit the ground. 
All right, so that's my running form Q-tip. Just think about lifting that heel back and think about pawing back across the ground uh, and the back kick in your stride. You don't have to do it really forcefully. It's a natural thing. Uh, it's part of the whole motion of running. You want it to be smooth. You don't want to force it. You still want to have that high stride rate uh, and that fluid motion in your stride, but uh, focus more on that. And that's just one running form tip. Again, we have a whole library of running form tutorials on here. Check out uh, Coach Sandy's YouTube videos. Running Wild to Believe, a link to her channel up there. You can subscribe on there for more videos. Check out our coaching website, sagerunning.com. We have training plans for any service, any distance. Thanks so much to all the Patreon supporters for really making this possible. Hope your running is going well. Stay tuned for more Sage Running videos.